What's going on everybody? Come back and we've got something to go over plus a mail call. How in the world is my outdoor crew doing? All right. Well, I got a couple things for you. Sit back, hang on, and let's get into it. I was at one of my new favorite stores um, down south of me here not too long ago, a place called Rock Creek. Like I said, I'll leave a link down below so you can go look them up and see what they're about. They're more of a backpacking, hiking, camping store, uh, but they're really geared towards lightweight. Um, they're also geared towards uh, rock climbing and that kind of stuff. So anyway, but that doesn't mean they don't have stuff that I can't use. And one of the things I ran into, and let's start off with a little story real quick. Uh, I was looking at these socks. I was looking at getting some more socks, period. Um, I normally wear smart wool in the winter, real thick, heavy smart wools. Then in the summer, I kind of trim down lighter socks. Uh, I still have some smart wools. I have some wigwams. And was saw a guy looking at these, and he was actually he had a couple pair in his hand. And I said, "Hey, how are those socks? How do they treat you?" And he said he loved them. He said I've done every brand you can think of. He said I found these and fell in love with them. So I was like, "Okay." And he's a hiker, just like I am. Him and his wife both nice couple. Um, showed them a couple of trails around here that they ought to try out. They had been at Long Hunter State Park that morning. So there you go. They're, they're day hikers like me. Um, so anyway, he told me, he said, you ought to try you a couple pair of these. And he said, I think, you, I think you'll be happy with them. I said, okay. So I get to looking. And I found these two pair. Um, well, the other pair is actually fixing to be washed. This pair I'll probably wear this weekend on the trail. Um, depends on what the weather does to us uh we're, we're, they're calling for snow in april anyway so what i'm gonna do is i'm also gonna leave a link to these people which is swiftwick.com uh go down go down there and check out these socks they're not badly priced they're about in the same ballpark as your well as all the other high-end um hiking socks they're real big into bicycles too, cycling and that kind of thing. But they also have their line of uh, hiking socks. This is more of, I think, more of a cycling sock, but I think it's going to work perfect for me and for hiking. Um, what I like about them is the cushioning on the bottom of them. Super thick. The other pair I've got, that, like I said, it's in the laundry. Uh, I can notice that all day, that where this was doing its job, this compression part on top, this part of the cushion was doing its part on the bottom of my foot. And um, that's the first time I've actually kept socks on all day that to me didn't feel like they were just eating at my feet. So uh, go check them out. Like I said, even if you're okay, if you're following my channel and you're a cyclist, go check these guys out. Now, here's the other cool part. These are made in the USA, as it says right there. If you can see that. But I go looking up their website and go looking at um, where their headquarters is. Brentwood, Tennessee. It's a Tennessee company. I didn't know that. I didn't know that they were there. But um, it shows you the different, how they scale their socks. I'll put this up here where you can see it. Uh, zero is below the ankle sock, all the way up to a 12, which is over calf sock. So if that helps out a little bit too. Their sizes go from small to extra large and extra, or yeah, extra large. Extra large on men is 12 to 15. That's what I got to have because I wear a 13. And I've gotten socks before that have been 12s and they just didn't work. So I want to get that out of the way. Like I said, it's, this is not a, you know, go buy these or, you know, they're, um, well, this particular pair right here. Let's see, wait a minute. If I remember correctly. Yeah, this pair right here, because they are a thicker cushion, are $13.99 for the half uh, the shoe sock. Um, not the boot length. 
but um that's what i kind of wear in the summer i i wear shorts all summer so no matter where i'm at you know i'm gonna probably get me some gaiters here pretty soon for below the knee uh because i'm bad about wearing shorts and peeling off through the woods and come out and scratched all the heck and back so anyway um I wanted to give you a first look and impression of these. You know what else I like about this company? When they put their socks in there, they don't run a thing through them to poke a hole in them. They just they put them in this thing like so, so that they're not damaging the sock. But it's a good looking sock. I mean, it's, you know, as far as socks go, and there's the X on it, it's extra large. I thought that was kind of cool too. So we'll get that out of the way real quick. I got a quick mail call. This came in from Rupan. RX, Mr. Jared Walsh, as he calls himself. Let me show you what he gave me. He sent me a G Web sticker, or sticker, Velcro patch, and this is the 150th, 150th engineering company out of Hawaii. So, pretty cool. Got me a, another military patch to go on my board. Yeah, this one I got in a man can. I thought I'd just go ahead and stick it on there. I bought one man can. So anyway, go check out the channels. Don't forget Hike Camp. He sent me this patch. Go check him out. Uh, go check out Mr. Rupan RX. I will leave a link down below to his thing. Down below is going to be nothing but links, it sounds like. Oh, well. So anyways, guys, this is Patrick, Mid-10 Outdoors. Um, going hiking this weekend where it snows, it rains, it blows, whatever. Uh, by the time you see this video, another video will come out. This is going to be a, this trail I'm going to do this coming weekend. There's another trail that I've never been on, and it's really and truly, it's not much information about it. So I'm going to go do some fact finding and uh, hopefully put some good information on, on uh, all trails. And that's it. Be prepared.